Hello friends, today we are going to see how to create the VM on a ESXi host. Before doing that one, let's have a basic understanding of the concept. Let me open the MS Paint. Let's say this is our hardware. And on top of this hardware, when we do the installation of our ESXi software, what it does, it creates one virtualization layer on top of the hardware. So let's say this is hardware and this is the ESXi software installed on a machine now this has become the ESXi host then to create the VM on top of this we require a vSphere client so a vSphere client can be installed vSphere client it can be installed on your laptop or a desktop also then connect this one with your ESXi host. Once it is connected uh, through the vSphere client, we are good to create the VM on top of this. So to create the VM, we have to provide the resources to it. So for resources, uh, what we need to provide is um, I'll, um, we need to provide the processor then memory then we have to provide the hard disk and of course uh, ISO image of a CD or a DVD so this much is sufficient and uh, for the installation purpose and um, of course network card is also required for uh, accessing from the outer environment once we provide this one we are uh, good to do the installation on top of this okay how to do that so let's access the machine so here uh, our uh, ESXi host uh, IP address is 0 0.11 and the username is root and uh, password root123 you can ignore this security warning So I'm running this one in evaluation mode. So still 34 days are there to expire the license. So to create this one, just right click on this new virtual machine. And then we'll go with the typical configuration. Next virtual machine name. Let's say I, I'm going to install the CentOS on it. So CentOS 7 next then I want to use this data store okay so VM configuration file will be stored in a data store which is a local hard disk and then for a CentOS installation I have to select the Linux okay so if you want to do the Windows installation you can do the Windows installation it's supposed to 2012 2008 so all these versions are supported for Linux here uh, it supports the Red Hat Linux 4, 5, 6, 7, CentOS also supported, uh, SUSE Linux, Debian, all these things are supported. So I'm going to select this uh, CentOS 4, 5, 6, 7, 64 bit. If you want to install ESXi to the software on top of this, okay, so you can do the VMware ESXi 6.x, you can do the installation of Apple Mac, FreeBSD, IBM OS 2. So these are also supported on top of the VMware virtualization so let's select this CentOS 7 64 bit click on next and here uh, how many network cards you want to give so select two two are sufficient for redundancy purpose next and I'm going to select this thin provisioning so that uh, system will provide the space as per the requirement and thick means it will utilize the complete space okay so for installation 16 GB is uh, recommended by the VMware but uh, I'll select the 40 GB thin provision space. Okay, thick provision lazy zero to thick provision eager zero. We'll be covering that one in our later sessions. And make sure edit the virtual machine setting before completion. So click on this. So make sure your settings are correct. Okay, uh, so that you'll be able to make the changes uh, before the installation. Now here memory, you can see that system has given the. 2 GB if you want to change that one to the 4 GB you can do that if you want to give the additional cores to it you can give it then 
CD DVD. So in the data store, I have kept the ISO files. So click on browse data store and select the ISO. So in ISO, CentOS 7 is there. Okay, so select this one. You can see the size of this one is 4 GB. And make sure this one is selected connect at power on if you do not select this it will not be uh, you will not be able to do the installation so select this and click on finish you can see that it is showing completed so virtual machine is created successfully it will be visible over here so power on this virtual machine and go to the console so from here also you can see the console and if you want a big screen you can click over here to get the complete view install CentOS 7 So around 15 minutes it will take for the installation of a CentOS operating system. You can see that system is created successfully on top of a VM. So to shut down the system, you can power off the machine from here and go to the summary. So here you will come to know that uh, CentOS 7 version, VM version 11, CPU 2 virtual CPU we have provided and memory is 4096 and to power on this one, you can power it on from here. So this way we create the VM on top of the ESXi host. Thank you for watching this video.